Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the king of the kings of Sanskrit, the P20 Sankar for kids. Hey, hey, bonjour everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And today's video, it's a very, very exciting video. At least for me, definitely it is. Because today I have for you a super hardcore sunscreen. You know the drill with me. I always recommend two types of sunscreen. The sunscreen that are more elegant, still SPF 50 plus, still P rating of four pluses. I mean, that this is the minimum for every today babies. So they are basically the one that you want to wear when you are mostly at home, mostly at work and not when you will be spending a lot of time outside. However, when you are going to be outside for a very long time, you do need like some hardcore sunscreen like to shield your skin from uh, UV. Especially if you are here and you are concerned about uh, slowing down the aging process. Sunscreen is definitely you friends and a must have. And the one from today is like crazy, insanely protective. So like always, what is important with sunscreen is of course the protection. So the protection is um, divided, I would say, into you have first the SPF, which is something that is done uh, in vivo, but in a lab using a UV uh, lamp, which is a xenon lamp, if you want to know, to have the value of the SPF, the sun protection factor, which gives you an idea of how a sunscreen will protect you from a sunburn. And a sunburn is mainly triggered by UVB and a tiny bit of UVA type 2. Mainly, it's not only about the UVB. Of course, the higher the SPF will be and the less UVB will be transmitted to your skin. So it will go into your skin to grill your cells and also age you like crazy and high skin cancer. So that's excellent. Then you, we have the UV protection factor, which is extremely important. Unfortunately, a lot of brands uh, don't disclose it and also do not want to disclose it. And you know that this drives me crazy. This is not the case of this one. This one, if you look at the delicious package, the UVA protection is above 50. Yes, the UVA protection is above 50. So it means that this one is even more protecting than the invisible fluid, the Shaka fluid from La Roche-Posay. I'm just diseased. I am like dead. I mean, what can I say? But it's not only this, the combination of filters in this one, insanely, insanely good for several reasons. So the first reason is because it avoids the one that are, uh, I would say, notorious to trigger skin sensitization, to burn also your eyes, to, you know, to make your eyes uh, water like crazy. And also for those of you who are quite sensitive to um, organic filters, we don't have them in this one, which is lovely. And there is also one that is oof, probably one of the best uh, UV filters you will see. So the first filters is Uvenil A+, an excellent, excellent uh, UVA tap one, mainly absorbent, and then a little bit of UVA tap two. Then we have Octisalate, also known as Ethyl Exyl Salicylate, which is mainly a UVB absorbent. Then we have the killer combo because, well, how can you go wrong with this, uh, with those two, Tinos of S and Tinos of M. So as you know, Tinos of S is an organic broad spectrum filter. So it absorbs UVB, UVA type 2 and also UVA type 1. And Tinos of M is also a broad spectrum filter like Tinos of S. But in addition, it absorbs um, also some visible light. And the last one, which is almost never seen, unfortunately, is uh, the most recent one that has been allowed in Europe, which is the Tinos of A to B, also known as the Beast Phenyl tree yazan and oh la la this one this one is simply incredible for several reasons one this is a wonderful uvb and uva type to absorb and because the maximum of absorption is around the uva type 2 um, range why this is so important because in almost every sunscreen where the absorbance is lacking it is between uvb and UVA type 1, which is not the case thanks to the tiers of A to B. The other reasons is because this one, a little bit, even a tiny concentration can help to achieve a higher protection against UVB and also UVA type 2. I mean, this is insanely good. 
Also, just in terms of formulation, the tinazole A to B can be dissolved in the water phase. Therefore, you do not you do not need another extra layer of fat basically to dissolve it. So you can have a better texture. I mean, what can I say? So in terms of application and the texture, the texture is quite uh, creamy and that attempt and at the same time very fluid. It is, I have to say, very pleasant to use. It still feels um, oily. Remember, this is an SPF of 50 plus uh, UVA protection above 50. So of course, to achieve this level of protection, you do need a lot of UV filters, which most of the time translate into, I would say, a heavier, um, heavier texture. Still, I do find that for this level of, of protection, this is insanely good. Also, this one doesn't have any uh, alcohol, so no drying uh, stuff. The finish of it is normal to slightly dewy, but not overly shiny. Again, which is insanely good. If you have seen my review on the family milk, for example, from Bioderma, this one, you just end up like a greasy mess. If you have super dry skin, it will be fine. But for other reasons, it won't. This one has a UVA. So the Bioderma, the family milk, have a UVA protection of 40. This one has a UVA protection above 50. And the finish is way, way better. On normal skin type like mine, I am slightly on the drier skin type. I do encourage you to not use any moisturizer underneath or else it will be uh, far too much. Also, stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to show you a trick to how to make it, I would say, a little bit more uh, matte. In terms of application, like I have said, very pleasant uh, to use. It does not make your facial hair white. You do need a little bit um, of work to make it more matte. Also, it has a tiny, tiny white cast, but barely, barely there, I have to say. So I'm pretty sure that for first skin uh, tone, perfectly fine. For medium skin tone, I do think that you can make it work. Also, for very darker uh, skin type, you will need to spend some time to massage in and probably wear makeup on top. Speaking of this, this is an insanely good uh, makeup base. Now, let's uh, have a look at the packaging. It comes in a pump. What I love about it is that you get 100 grams. Thank you. Thank you so much, P20. Yes, this is exactly what I love because, well, sunscreen, you know that you need to reapply them. You need to use a lot of it. So why those brands continue to sell those damn 30 ml? I'm like, uh, I don't know why for the price you get 100 ml. Also, another feature that is insanely good. One pup deliver one gram of products. Most likely for most people, this is the dose that you need. So if you don't know how much you need, you need around uh, one fourth of a teaspoon, which is a little bit more than one gram. I have a video to determine exactly how much sunscreen do you need for your face. I don't understand why I don't have more views uh, about this uh, subject because this is very um, important to know. The method that I propose you is very easy. It is not going to take uh, to take like a, a whole hour for you to determine. It's very easy uh, uh, to do at home. So. One pop of product is exactly, so you deliver one gram. This is exactly what I need for my face. I mean, love it, love it, love it. Like I have said, no perfume, no alcohol, uh, no known allergy. You don't have also any uh, weird botanical extract and etc. I mean, we are close to perfection with this one. Another thing that I want to tell you is that if you read the package, it says protects up to 10 hours and up to three hours in water. So if you have watched my video about AV, uh, some of you are following me for quite some time, uh, you did. You probably already know that I was very, very harsh with um, AV. I don't like those type of statements when they say, oh, you can wear it for 10 hours. I'm like, um, show me the proof. Why? If you have a oilier skin type or even like me, like during summer, my T-zone tends to be a little bit oilier. And you can see if you wear makeup that the makeup starts to break apart. Why? Because your skin is going to produce some oils and it is going to break out the um, sunscreen film on your skin. And therefore the protection is going to diminish. So I do not know how they have tested this. Most likely if you have super dry skin, yes, I am inclined to believe that uh, maybe up to 10 hours, you can still have a very high SPF. What can I tell you about this one is that uh, if you wear makeup on top with this one, it does prolong the wear of uh, makeup, at least on my skin, it did. So I'm more inclined to believe that yes, indeed the SPF and probably also the UV protection um, will be still, I would say quite high. How much exactly? I don't know. I don't know when the, those type of, of claims protects up to 10 hours. What does it mean? Does it mean like 10 hours after instead of having an SPF of 50 plus, you have just an SPF of 50? I mean, who knows? 
Something that you need to keep in mind, there is a no paper that has been done by Tanish with a very old tech sunscreen where basically they showed that on a normal day, when you wear a sunscreen eight hours after, you have a reduction of the SPF of 30%. So basically with more sunscreen, um, you can still have some protection on uh, your skin. But again, I don't know. So if you will be exposed to the sun, I do recommend that you reapply this one every three to four hours. If you go and bath, you th uh, and take bath, swim, and etc. at the beach, even um, like every two hours or something like that, and every long bath for uh, sure. But this is really an excellent one. This is my new favorite hardcore sunscreen when I will be exposed to the sun for sure. The last thing that I want to tell you is a little tip to show you how you can mat it down. So the easy, the easy way is of course to not uh, use any uh, moisturizer before and then to use a powder. My favorite powder to do this is the Innisfree, the No Sebum Mineral Powder. And in that case, use a puff with it to mat it down. You need to wait 20 minutes to let it set because this one does set, uh, not completely, but close to, and then you are going to apply the powder where you need. The other way to do it is actually to use an unbutton cream underneath this time a mineral base. So the one that worked the best is actually the Clarice, the midday, blue UV shield. Unfortunately, this one has a perfume. Hello, Claire's. Why? Check my review about this one. But if you apply uh, some of it on your face, you do not need to apply the full dose. You then wait for 20 minutes to let it set because this one does need some time to set. And then when it is set, you are going to use this sunscreen and it is going to mat it down. You can also only use it on um, the earlier parts like on your T-zone. Another one that you can use is this one, the Purito, which is the Comfy Water Sunblock. Also this one, this one is going to mattify less your skin than the Claire's uh, one. Okay, so basically that's it. Uh, definitely this one is a must have in uh, your sun protection arsenal because I mean, like I have said, you know the drill now. So if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you are new. It does help me a lot. Don't forget to ring the bell like this. You are notified every time I post a new video. Go and follow me also on Instagram because like that, you will have some preview. I have talked about this one, for example, on Instagram. Again, thank you so, so much for your time and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.